हेलो एवरीवन माय प्रणाम्स टू माय गुरु ब्रह्मश्री पितामह सुभाष पत्री जी माय मदर वेंकट लक्ष्मी गारो एंड माय फादर सत्य प्रसाद गारो आई एम नकता आई लिव इन बेंटॉनवेल अर्कंस आई हैव मूव टू यूएस इन द ईयर 2019 आई एम अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर बाय प्रोफेशन टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर माय स्पिरिचुअल जर्नी एंड हाउ मेडिटेशन हैज ट्रांसफॉर्म माय लाइफ द नॉलेज दैट आई हैव इज लाइक अ ड्रॉप इन द ओशन बट with all that i have learned and with my meditation practice i will share my experience today i have started my spiritual journey in the year 2000 my mom used to perform poojas at home one day while reading uh, sai sat charitra she had a strong desire to learn dhyanam that is meditation so one day uh, when brahma kumari had conducted a free one week meditation camp near home uh, soon she has decided to go and even i wanted to accompany her somehow after attending one weeks of meditation session we couldn't continue brahma kumari's meditation uh, but soon after one of my mom's friend nirmala aunty has introduced us to this ana pana sati meditation i was 12 years old when i have started my meditation practice starting my spiritual journey at a young age helped me in all aspects of I would like to share some of my experiences uh, being a kid and being into meditation. My mom, my dad, my sister and I all of us used to uh, sit and meditate together. We were all like-minded. Uh, we were all into the same path which made us understand each other better. We all used to spend 30 minutes in a day to meditate. My parents have taught me everything required to live my life independently and responsibly. they have given me all their support every time i wanted to take up a new project meditation helped me do my activities with very less effort and i used to enjoy everything i did i used to attend various meditation sessions along with my uh, mom and dad the knowledge that i gained from these classes really helped me in every walk of my life i used to help my mom in conducting meditation classes which used to be a lot of fun being a kid I have learned a lot from listening to others experiences. I have met Patri ji in the year 2002 when we have conducted a meditation class in our house premises and it was a divine feeling meeting my guru. I have got such a great guru who is full of energy and charisma. I am really thankful to Patri ji who have taught us a simple yet the most powerful meditation technique and sharing his knowledge at a free of cost it is very important for everyone to be in a spiritual path from a young age but not everyone can afford to go for highly paid sessions i am really thankful to patri ji for taking such a great initiative when i read such the sai sat charitra patri ji is sai baba to me and when patri ji plays flute he is lord krishna to me Patri ji is omnipresent and Patri ji knows everything you need when you completely surrender and you're in acceptance i am sure there are masters who are always helping and guiding us by being a part of pssn i have just not got a guru and learn meditation and gain knowledge but i got to meet so many great masters got a spiritual family and friends let me share some of my experiences to mainly remove some misbeliefs that people have when we ask them to meditate many always think that meditation means just sit in a corner and meditate for hours together but no that's not true you can always have fun at the same time uh, meditate and gain wisdom you're actually going towards the true path as you meditate read books you gain wisdom and you will rise to higher levels so here is what i have got i have got a guru who is always there whom you can meet any time you want who teaches you how to meditate who who suggests you what books to read and ask any question and he is there for you to answer He is always there to listen to your experiences. I am really fortunate to be with Patri ji. I have got a spiritual family who is always there for me. So, 
how is the spiritual family different for me uh, so you want to be a part of a new project or you want to start a new project and you want some good vibes around you the entire meditation group gathers and we make an affirmation and sit and meditate for one to two hours the strong and the positive vibrations and the energies that are created always had got me success and had got the courage to face the situations on this day i would like to express my sincere gratitude to nirmala aunty anupurna aunty venkateshwara uncle sudha aunty pramila aunty and my parents who were always there with me who had made this like a ritual for me and supported me the experience the, the experiences that you have being with people in the same path and same frequency is truly amazing we had few people in pssm who used to organize a spiritual trips and trekkings at times along with patri ji being a nature lover the maridmalli trek organized by navkant and ganesh was a mind blowing experience i had so much fun which included great meditation in the deep forest meditation under the waterfall meditation on the bank of the rivers the trek it was difficult but it was a lot of fun that is when i actually experienced the energies of nature the feeling cannot be expressed it can only be felt it was truly truly amazing uh these uh, and uh, the bhutan trip organized by navkant and nagendra was also amazing i did the longest and the toughest trek of my life uh these experiences i would never forget in my life it's def- it definitely makes a difference when you travel with people full of positive uh, energies and positive vibrations it makes impossibles as possible we have great masters who have counseled me when i really needed a help i think in 2009 my two best friends expired one committed a suicide and one uh, expired in a bike accident these two incidents have affected me and disturbed me so much that i couldn't get out of it i couldn't drive my bike for like 6 to 7 years and i couldn't get out of uh, the memories of one of my friend and it had impacted me a lot i always thought i had no fear or i am out of these incidents in like in the next one or two years but subconsciously i still had it uh, when i had to face certain situations it had a huge impact on me so my mom took me to the seeth workshop uh, where balakrishna sir and premnath sir had guided me with some positive affirmations and get me out of that fear after that 3 day workshop i it had a huge impact on myself i was feeling so light and i could feel that difference my deepest gratitude to premnath sir and balakrishna sir and i would like to share some of my experiences from reading books and practicing the concepts with meditation and by reading books and by practicing the concepts i was able to manifest what i wanted and i have got everything i really aimed for uh, reading the books uh, reading the book secret uh, helped me uh, create right thoughts learn how to manifest them i have seen results in two scenarios one when you have all positive thoughts uh, about what you wanted and i definitely got it it was all positive two when you have a doubt or a fear about something definitely that did not manifest for me the way i wanted uh, by meditation and some uh, affirmations i was able to get out of that fear and the day i was out of my fears that is when i could see the positive results i was able to manifest what i wanted reading the book jonathan livington seagull made me believe that we can do way beyond that what we think we can do reading spiritual books definitely help us change our lives so i would like to uh, share some of the challenges that i faced and i could overcome with my meditation practice and knowledge uh, being a younger one at home i never had to take big responsibilities and almost everything went very smooth in my life until my engineering 
being a meditator i never went to doctor at least not to big big hospitals uh, honestly i was uh, had i always had a fear for multi speciality hospitals Uh, my parents were in us and my grandparents were ill and i had to take care of them the condition was very serious and i had to take them to a hospital give injections and uh, do a lot of stuff um, even today if i think back i don't know how i had all that courage to do things that i did for them i would definitely say it was just masters who were guiding me because of which i could take care of them and help myself in my profession i got all the opportunities i wanted and i was completely satisfied and happy but then i had uh, two challenges one i wanted to go to us two about my marriage um i wanted to go to us but somewhere in my mind i had a lot of fear and many questions uh, like if i can cope up with people in us if i was a right candidate if i can live without my parents if i am really fit for it or not for all my questions i had got all the answers uh, practically uh, which took few years but all the opportunities came in at the right time and i was 100% perfect in everything i did so then uh, all my fears and all my questions were gone and all and my only thought was that i wanted an opportunity to work in us and i got it immediately similarly for my marriage i had a fear of taking responsibilities uh so i had to face uh, circumstances where for every question that i had i got answers and i was then ready for my marriage uh i always wanted to get married just not for a husband but for a family uh the few matches that i got and the first person i met after all these is the one whom i married now i have a loving and caring husband understanding in-laws and a wonderful family now the next challenge i was married and happy had to wait for 9 months for work uh, visa and i had traveled to us my husband and my work locations were different so a long distance relationship which was not easy it was not a pleasant experience staying alone and i had to face so many unpleasant situations i had become mentally and emotionally weak but as always my family and my spiritual family supported me meditated along with me with all positive thoughts and in 3 uh, months uh, time i had requested my manager for a work from home and they have accepted it next here comes the biggest challenge and i'm sure most of us have faced it when i was in india i was always busy roaming being with a lot of people shopping traveling had a fun life suddenly i'm in us in a pandemic moved to a new place we are working from home did not have many friends or family members around newly married we just started to live together uh, when we started to live together uh, each of us had uh, choices different our lifestyles were different and a lot of things were different it was not easy for both of us i had become emotionally weak i was used to cry for simple things but one day i read a quote which meant whatever you have created is what you are facing i was shocked i have been learning from so many years but when you are actually uh, have to implement it's not easy uh, i followed some meditation guided meditation i started to realize i've started to recollect my situations that i have created and i have started to recreate them the way i wanted by sitting in meditation and giving some affirmations it created wonders i have started to be very happy i have started to live the way i wanted uh i have started to accept my husband and everybody else the way they are uh, i am sure most of us face the situation we always try to blame others for what we face um i mean but it's very important to keep a check on ourselves 
it's been nine months now and i could overcome so many challenges and situations i'm so thankful that i could learn so much in such a less time being newly married i and my husband were able to understand each other face situations together now i truly enjoy being with him and being with myself i do everything like cooking washing playing meditating washing utensils everything with love and joy it's very important that uh, every thought is created consciously this can happen only when you are meditating and you have control over your thoughts one of the most uh, and important program conducted during the pandemic is the inner journey program this program has taken me to the next level uh, the experiences from this inner journey program are incredible and the best thing is uh, i have got a spiritual family in the us Uh, some practices that i follow in my day to day life uh, after the inner journey program are uh, one uh, practice that i have learned in meditation is a visualization technique uh, be it for anything i sit in meditation and visualize it coming to me uh, one example is uh, i want to express something to someone uh, but i cannot do it directly like i want to convey my love or gratitude or forgive someone or ask for forgiveness and i cannot do it directly then i sit in meditation i visualize them and convey the message doing this completely changes my vibrations and energies that i have for them and when i meet them the situations is all set and i feel i radiate those energies to them as well follow your instinct your instinct always guides you and gives you messages it's just that you have to believe it and you have to listen to it i have started to be in oneness the fact that we are all one i have practiced not to differentiate others with materialistic things when i have started to be in oneness everyone seemed correct to me and i could accept them the way they are and love them a uh, show love and gratitude to everything and everything uh, everything and everyone so show your love and gratitude to people plants animals anything you see and you can just say i love you that changed my outlook for life i mean it's a great experience coming to using the pyramids i have a pyramid always with me the energies i get uh, by sitting under the pyramid and meditating or using a pyramid gap is enormous uh, i get into the meditative state very fast if i'm going for a long trips i always make sure i have a pyramid gap with me so with all that said request you all to meditate daily there is no age limit for meditation practice meditation and teach meditation to everyone utilize the pyramid energies read books and follow the 18 principles of psism and have a happy and lovely life thank you